Did you know Squid Game was originally a Super Nintendo game released in 1995? What you're looking at now is the banned copy of Squid Game, the inspiration behind the Squid Game TV show, now famous amongst billionaires across the world. <coughs> and yes, I am the original creator. First, I needed to design the sleeping quarters for the contestants. It should be comfortable, but also a perfect arena for violent brawls. I took a few screenshots from the TV ship. I mean, I imagined this would look like in real life using my brilliant original mind. And I placed basic shapes on a 1287 by 666 canvas. For pixel art games, you should always ensure your image interpolation is set to nearest neighbor. This ensures your edges are not blurry when scaling crisp, pixelated sprites. I then began adding details. The TV showing the prize money, the bunk beds, and most importantly, the piggy bank. Treating the players was easy. I started with player 001. He was about 120 pixels total and only contained two swampy sprites for animation. To create his voice, I simply recorded my own in various bits and played that random sound with every letter on screen. For his avatar, I snapped a photo of an old billionaire down in Seoul. Don't ask. Anyone can make a photograph look like pixel art in Photoshop. Simply posturize an image, make it black and white, and squash it down. Again, ensuring nearest neighbor scaling is selected. I did the same method for other characters in the game. Stick around to see them all in the final playthrough. Ah, yes. A cozy place to sleep. A cozy place to die. Okay, let's talk about the maze stairs. This was my favorite place to design. But real quick, believe it or not, guys, you can take <coughs> you can take a little 2D game like I'm creating here, and you can actually turn it into a six-figure paycheck and go full-time indie. I teach over 2,500 students how they can do this at fulltimegamedev.com. Guys, I've used publishers, crowdfunding, and social media to go full-time before I even finished my games. I'm gonna show you how you can do it too. You're also gonna learn illustration techniques, C-sharp, sound design, and a ton more with over 30 hours of content. So, for the next few days, this highly rated program is 50% off. It's a huge Black Friday sale. It's actually my biggest sale I've ever had and it's only going to happen right now. It's going to be probably another year before we have a sale event like this. And I also have a brand new course, 2D Art Pro, and you're going to get that absolutely free. With it, you're going to learn character art, landscape art, and so much more, along with my custom 2D patterns, brushes, and templates, totally free, but only for the next few days. Click below to join now, and I'll see you on the private Discord server. Designing the maze stairs was very exciting. Inspired by M.C. Escher, these stairs proved to be a challenge when designing in 2D. Using a variety of intense neon colors while also creating depth meant that I needed three separate color ranges that gradient slowly into the distance. I used these three gradients to tell me what each color for each stair should be at what location relative to the camera. To get the players to walk across the stairs in the background, I animated one sprite, simply moving him across the stairs with various keyframes. And then I wrote a script that picks a random start point in the animation. I then pasted dozens of these identical animating sprites, and upon hitting play, they all animate at various random locations. Of course, this maze looks like a happy place with no music. It certainly isn't a happy place. I mean, it makes me happy. But to the players, this maze is a slow and winding journey to hell. So it needs some creepy music. I asked my buddy Funlord Earl, <coughs> Funlord, Fun, Funlord Earl, Funlord Earl, to take the song Pink Soldiers, written by 23. recreate it in an 8-bit style. According to Funko Rodero, all of my music is made in a free program called Famitracker, which allows you to make NES accurate chiptune music. You basically have to put in each individual note, which I either transpose by ear or from sheet music. 
That's about it. Be sure to subscribe to Funk Lord Earl below. He has some incredible 8-bit tracks. Very talented. This is the final result. My billionaire friends contacted me and wanted me to create a silly yet exciting game that involved falling to your death on a glass bridge. Basically, the players can jump on a left square or a right square. One of them is solid, one of them is not. This was hard to replicate in a 2D space. So instead, I stacked them on top of each other. Then I wrote a C-sharp script that allows the player to choose which glass to jump on and then simply added force to the rigid body, launching them to the chosen platform. Of course, to really get the billionaires excited, Satisfy me. I added some 8-bit glass breaking sounds and also programmed a burst effect upon it. This was done with some simple red squares, a screen, and an explosion 8-bit sound I downloaded here. All right, let's play Super Squid Game. And just remember, if you want to learn how to create and sell 2D games just like this full time, click below to take advantage of that massive 50% off sale event for the next few days at fulltimegamedev.com. All right, this is my favorite game from the show, The Glass Bridge. All right, let's go. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, all right. So I know it's this top one here, down here. Which one? Oh goodness, okay, there's a lot of guts down there. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so we know that's good. Good, okay. Alright, we still got plenty of people left. Let's see here. Good, okay. Alright. Let's do the bottom one here. Gosh. Okay, so we're all right, we're all right. We got plenty of people. Good, good. <laughs> so much blood down there. Okay, let's keep going. All right, good. Good, okay. <laughs> Alright, we still got five players left, so I think we're gonna make it. Was it that one? Yeah. Good. I can't remember which one it was. Oh man. I wish I worked at a glass factory. Hmm. Okay, good. 
good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Okay, we got one across. Good, we got four left. How many more can we get? So hopefully I can have good memory here even though I have terrible memory. I would be horrible at this game in real life. Mm. Wait, what? It's gotta be the bottom one. Right? You all know. It's the bottom one, right? Okay. So I think we're pretty much good to go now. I think I can remember all of them. Yes, it's the top one. Yes, okay, good. Sweet. All right, so we can have about four people, if I don't make a mistake here, across <laughs> the bridge. Awesome. Okay, one more. And we will complete our billionaire's entertainment for the day. Yes! Woohoo! Alright. <laughs> Thanks so much oh. for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you felt like I did a good job here. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know below another game that you might want to see me recreate. And as always, feel free to download my free 2D game kit below. It's my treat to you. Cheers. Hey, is this Jeff? Hey, Jeff, this is Thomas again. No, I know, just, do you want me to call you back? Well, I was just wondering, I bought this uh, Squid Game costume on Amazon, and I wore it to the mall today, and they arrested me. Oh, it's not, okay, I see, I see, you're supposed, you, they don't want you to wear jumpsuits to the mall, is that what it is? Okay, well, I'm going to return it then, no, I'll return it if I want. What? Jeff? <laughs>